Good evening and welcome to Saturday Night Sports. This is Adam. Happy New Year. Hope everyone caught what Allie put up last week. She's looking to do that once a, once a month. But I know people have been waiting for me to get back to Killer Miller's tour. Hey, it was the holidays. I think I had the right to do some of my own stuff. Well, we are going into event number three, and my subscriber count has broken 2,300. Thanks for everyone who's joining. If you haven't signed on already, do me the biggest favor in the world and hit that subscribe button. Now, not going to keep dawdling here. Let's go ahead and move on to the next stop on the tour. It's actually appropriate that this is at Glacier Ridge because... I'm looking out my window and there is snow on the ground, so. One thing I'm not excited about is the fact that this is another Bingo Bango Bongo, and those who kept up know that these events are a royal pain in the ass. Well, let's see if I could wipe out Clem and El Suave the first time. If you love frostbite, snow blindness, and a howling wind that will rip the flesh from your bones, then you're in for a real treat here at Glacier Ridge. The fairways are narrow and steep, the ice is thicker than your skull, and the hungry polar bears consider golfers a delicacy. So good luck, and let the feeding frenzy begin. Whether it's with a golf club or a file down toothbrush, Killer Miller enjoys nothing more than carving up the competition. When he's not busy touring the country's top penitentiaries, he loves teeing off on golf balls and unsuspecting country club members. So lock your doors and call the cops, because golf just got a lot more lethal. Caddying today for Killer is his state-appointed caddy, Officer Shankman. Adored by gorgeous women and androgynous men from around the world, El Suave believes in sharing his magnificent good looks with all who can show a certified blood test. Suave feels inner beauty is more important than outer beauty, so long as the outer beauty is still pretty hot. Lugging clubs for this south of the border stud is Tijuana's very own missing link, Mr. Man Boob himself, El Ramon. Born and raised in the Appalachian Alps, Clem made his parents proud when he became the first in his family to score double digits on his IQ. When Clem hits the golf course, he's living proof that moonshine and missing chromosomes can't stop a man from walking upright and swinging a golf club. Carrying this backwoods bumpkin's bag today is Clem's nephew, Goober, who also happens to be his brother and uncle. Let's hear it for inbreeding. Check out the ninth. It's so cold out here. Thanks to the excessive product in my hair, my head is now sprouting friggin' icicles. This 425-yard par 4 has a frozen water hazard all around it. Better stay on the fairway or your score is gonna go up so fast it'll make your head spin. And you don't want to puke in this weather. Trust me. As I look through the scope of my high-powered rifle, the first target, uh, I mean golfer to tee off is Killer Miller. Okay, just a quick refresher why this event is such a pain in the ass. It's because in order to win, you have to score three points. Well, there are three points available on each hole. One for reaching the green first, one for being closest to the cup, and one for having the lowest score. And since I always tend to beef up the characters to the point where they could outdrive the others, here's, I basically have to underpower my shots in order to ensure I get the first crack at the green. It's always a pain that I have to do that. Holy crap! That shot went nuclear! Or nuclear! What do I know? I'm not a scientist!
Oh my! That mm. ball should be tried for treason. Take it away. Teeing off second is El Suave. Well, January's looking to be a regular month. I'll get in the next couple of matches on the tour. Nice. That ball just got some prime real estate. Walking softly, carrying a big club is Country Clan. Allie will probably have another episode of tour uh, of Test Chamber at the end of the month, and I know I have something planned for Super Bowl weekend. That's what we in the biz call a money shot. Someone tip the fluffer. Second shot. Oh, come on. Out my eye! Yeehaw, and boy howdy. Get out the Confederate flag, because someone's headed south. Third shot. At least I got a better shot at the green from here. That shot was a lot like marriage. It started off so, so good, and then went so terribly wrong. Second well, shot. This, this hole's going right down the shitter. That'll work. Second shot. What an ugly landing for an otherwise attractive ball. Sad. Killer Miller is in the sand. Break out the wedge or whatever the hell you call that thing. Yes. Forget 12-step groups. You're doing just fine on your own. Well, I got the mango. I'm definitely going to get the bango. For a shot at birdie. I guess that ball has something against low scores. Oh, I may get the bongo, too. Third shot. Fourth shot, might be time to pull the goalie. Now that's a great putt. Suave has this putt to put it in for par. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Oh, well, managed to pull. Managed to pull victory from the jaws of defeat that time. This ends the eighth! What in the name of Leonard Skinner are all those dang pipelines doing hanging over the fairway? Well, whatever they're doing there, you best avoid them on this 437-yard par four. Just keep your shots nice and low and you shouldn't have any trouble. Unless, of course, you enjoy massive oil spills, in which case, break out the shotgun!
Nice shot. That'll be good for your game. Covering some serious ground. That ball was gone. I hope it wasn't anything I said. Second shot. Off the green, off the green, off the green, off the green. Yes! That ball is resting comfortably on the green. Well, he got the bingo. Second shot. Second shot. Concentrate. Oh, come on. You're honestly saying I can't reach it no matter what? No! Sweet. Maybe good golf isn't so hard after all. It said it would pass under it. Here we go. Third shot. Anything is still possible. Take that. For a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Nicely done! So I'm not going to get any of the points this time. Killer Miller is tapping to drop a paw in the bottom of the cup. Better hold off on that Prozac refill. Oh, 
El Suave is smacking for a tasty birdie. Houston, I think we have a golfer. Yes, El Suave has shot a birdie. A dooty boopy dooty dee dee boopy dooty dooty. Notice the elaborate choreography. We have spared no expense for your viewing pleasure. And now I'm tied for last place. We're here at the seventh. We're looking at a 564-yard par 5, and I'm looking at a bad hair day thanks to these blustery winds. It's so cold I could cut glass with my nipples and hang my keys on them. Regardless, tell your limo driver to get off his lazy ass and warm up the Bentley. This hole's gonna be a long journey. Also, you may want to charter an icebreaker to cross the icy waters that separate the green from the fairway. Don't worry, I'll give you the number to my travel agent. Now everyone knows about the shortcut on this hole. Let's hope the computer doesn't take it. That'll work. Guess that ball must have a better agent than me. Good they won't. I can't say enough about that shot, nor do I want to. This should be a hole in which I could get all three of the points. self-esteem this should help second shot second shot Gotta like that one. Second shot. was hit so hard, it should press assault charges. <laughs> nice! That was good for both of us. Third shot. the way it's done. Third shot. Let's just see about that third time is the charm crap. Yeah, unless I royally blow the putt, I'm going to be the only one. Now that's a lucky freaking break. Unless I royally blow the putt, I'm going to be the only one with the bongo.
That's gonna break way to the right. Eat your heart out, Al Franken. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? I feel so happy. I feel so gay. I have a confession to make, suave. Yes, Ramon. What is it? I want to sleep with you. Not for all the huevos on the ranchero. Country Clam is eyeing this putt to sink a birdie. Ah, close enough. We'll give you that one. All right, this is a rather ugly one. Not as ugly as I thought. That kind of play will get it done, folks. We are looking the zone straight in the eyes. I never realized the zone was so tall. All right! I scored an eagle! I scored a freaking eagle! Look at me! Look at me! Put your eyeballs onto... Yeah, 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 yeah! I don't know why, but I have a sudden urge to do the New York Times crossword puzzle. Anyone got a pen? A robe? A bath. All right, if I could have more holes like that, then I got this one. Greetings from the sixth. Ah, breathe in the crisp, clean mountain air. Now I feel refreshed and ready to tell you about this 637 yard par four. As you can see, it is extremely long, much like El Suave himself. But as luck would have it, it is mostly downhill, which means you will benefit from a very friendly roll. Personally, I prefer a puppy seed roll, but to eat his own puppy seeds. Ain't life wonderful? 20 to life is even better, but you get the point. Killer Miller is pumped and ready to play. on that one. I've never seen anything smack that hard without first having to pay for it. Country Clam looks eager to whack one off. Usually when something gets whacked that hard, I like to include a little baby oil. Second shot. Good shot. Why do they call this one a par four? It's long enough to be a five. Oh. 
Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. Nice! Give that ball a gold star. Second shot. Third shot. You know, the law of averages says this could be a good one. But then again, it could suck. That's the thing with averages. What do I know? What am I, a, a math teacher? Oh, come on. Hope you enjoyed it, because you just got voted out of the zone. Third shot. Hey, if it weren't for that sand trap in the way, that could have been a half decent shot. Third shot. Oh, he got off a good one. Time to pat somebody on the back. And while you're at it, I'll take a hot old body rub. Country Clam is ready to stroke it. Way to go! Fourth shot. Well done! Just the way I like my steaks. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna get any points on this one either. I'm guessing this will break slightly to the left. I'm usually sometimes right. Suave is hoping to try for poor, and since I'm a pessimist, head straight for Bogeyland. One word, nice punt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. <laughs> Country clam is preparing to experience the painful discomfort of a bogey, which is a lot like hemorrhoids. Trust me. Okay, I should be tied for the lead. Actually, no, I'm still in the lead, but just barely. Over, I think I just found it. This 183 yard part three must have been designed by Satan himself. And I hope you already sold your soul to him, because that's the only way you're going to pull down a decent score on this hellhole. Okay, I'm definitely not going to get the bingo on this one.
Oh, did it roll off the green? Yes, it did. Tremendous disappointment. Now you know how my parents feel. Country Clam is about to take out some repressed aggressions and drive that sucker. Okay, the only way I can get the bingo would be if he also goes off the green, but he's farther off. <laughs> And this ball is nestled comfortably on the green like my head in the ample bosom of a large woman. You gotta have dreams, people. Second shot. Okay. Can I putt from here? Yes, I can. So I could get the bango and the bongo. This zone is for loading, unloading, and well-composed players only. Who'd like to see my magic jumping ball trick? For my next trick, I'm gonna make the state's key witness disappear. For a birdie, or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? School must be in session, because that was some textbook putting. Yes, the smell of victory, the smell of roses, yet nothing compares to the smell of my hideous B.O. Intoxicating. Nice job. So no change on the stats across the board. Clem, I don't know if this is a good time to tell you, but I'm having homosexual feelings towards you. You complete me. Damn it, Goober, my heart belongs to another. What does she have that I don't have? A tail and udders for starters. We're at the fourth. Woo, this here 550-yard par five is one long, cold-ass hole. Look at them there icicles hanging off them power lines. And check out all that dang snow. Hell, I'm freezing my giblets off just talking about it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to light my britches on fire to warm up. Anyone got any marshmallows? Anyone? What's not to like about that shot? If only you could take it home and dim the lights, put on some Barry White. Oh, yeah. I know one golfer who should stay away from lottery tickets.
it through this vodka haze. I can tell that was a nice shot. All right, second shot. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. Good shot. What should I do? Write you a song? Get over it. Second shot. Okay. As long as I stay more than a hundred yards out, then I will get first crack at the at the approach shot. Like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention, talk about an uncomfortable lie. Third shot. Oh, don't you dare say... Don't you dare say I can't reach the green from here. I have to shoot all the way over there in order to avoid in order to avoid the trees. Unless I go for a punch. Someone's headed in the wrong direction, and I don't mean a trip to Jersey. Third shot. You know, the law of averages says this could be a good one, but then again, it could suck. That's the thing with averages. What do I know? What am I, a, a math teacher? Way to lay it up and on. Okay, he got the bingo. Third shot. Okay, why the hell are you shooting all the way over there? Pretty shot. Trust me on this, because I'm an expert on ugly. Fourth shot. That's a good looking ball. I'm strangely attracted to it. Fourth shot. What was he deliberately trying to make sure he didn't get on the green so he could just putt so he could just putt in there? So close. Better hold off on that Prozac <laughs> refill. To nail one of the best looking pars I've ever seen. Oh, sorry. I was looking at a different hole. This one's just average. Now that's 
That's a nice putt, golf fan. That's exactly what he did so he could get the bango. Suave is attempting to make a birdie. Too bad you can't get one of these at the tee. That's a gimme. Killer Miller has an opportunity to drop this one in for par. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. So we're gonna be all tied up. Check out the third. Yuck! Snow and slush and a big frozen lake in the middle of this 250-yard par 3. That is so inconsiderate. No wonder I summer in the Caymans. Lucky can you get? Okay, I can't do magic. This Houdini stuff is tough. Take them off. Or if you like, how about I pull a rabbit out of your ass? Jeez, do I get dinner first? Say this works. Come on! Okay, I can still putt from there. Forget 12 step groups. You're doing just fine on your own. Amazing what a little dumb luck will do for your shot. Killer Miller is lining up to sink a birdie. That's bullshit. Nice! That was good for both of us. Country Clam is concentrating for a shot at birdie. Too bad choking is not a good thing, because we'd be celebrating right now if it were. Hey, this one's on me, buddy. El Suave is tapping for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! One word, nice push. 
Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Behold, beauty, jazz, greatness, ooh, a tight ass, uh-huh, and some excellent footwork. I come fully loaded with a five-year or 50,000 female warranty. To putt for par. Apparently, El Suave is going to be the winner. Houston, I think we have a golfer. He got all the points to himself that time. Behold, the second! Welcome me, amigos, to this exhilarating 440-yard par 4. I'm so excited about this course, my nipples are hard and pointy. Then again, it is freezing out here, so I may not be that excited. Although I have been known to have hard, turgid nipples in tropical heat. So maybe this course does excite me. I am confused. Hard and confused. Now, if I make use of that magic hole there, I can guarantee that I get the bingo. But it'll screw me over for the bango. Better be ready to have to do a take two. That ball was hit a ton. Aren't steroids awesome? Second shot. Give me that fucking bingo. Come on! Oh my! That ball should be tried for treason. Take it away. Second shot.
That's either a good omen or some really excellent cheating. Second shot. No one should complain about that shot. That's my job. Killer Miller is stuck in the sand. On the bright side, you might strike oil. For a shot at birdie and all its glory. Nicely done. Yep, gonna need a take two. Jez, <laughs> let us do the dance of the birdie. I am filled with such joy knowing you are seeing me filled with such joy. You may now worship me. <laughs> nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. To putt for par. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Why is it still going? The game is mathematically over. Killer Miller is lining up to nail this one for par. By my calculations, this game is ready to be euthanized. Okay, take two. Up first, your favorite outlaw golfer, Killer Miller. That'll be good for your game. Teeing off second is El Suave. Not bad. Walk it softly. Carrying a big club is Country Clam. Nothing wrong with that shot. Second shot. Of course, put me in a spot that screws me over. Good shot. Whoa, that tree definitely had it coming. Start manning the suicide hotlines. We've got a live one. Second shot. That ball's a beaut. Second shot. Yeah. 
Killer Miller is bogged down in the sand. Personally, I'd be upset, but hell, it's not my shot. If you have low self-esteem, this should help. Come on, sinking that birdie was no piece of cake. I want to hear some appreciation. Would it kill you, huh? One nice word. One. Would it kill you? For a tasty birdie. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Thank you. I dedicate that birdie to all my adoring fans. My breast heaves with joy. I am repulsed yet equally disgusted. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Okay, we each got two points that time. Killer Miller is absolutely positively ready to deliver. Nice contact on that one. How lucky can you get? Wow, someone just went medieval on that ball. about a lucky break. That's almost like tongue kissing a frog and getting a hot stripper, or at least two twins. You know, well, actually it's nothing like that at all. Second shot. Second shot. Concentrate. Okay, I got the bingo. I won't get the bango. Amazing what a little dumb luck will do for your shot. Second shot. Wow! What a tremendous disappointment. Now you know how my parents feel. El Suave is nestled in amongst the sand fleas. Hope this next shot doesn't bite. That shot was uglier than a one-eyed redhead. Third shot. Yeah. See, I picked up a lot more in France besides a moped license and a nasty rash. Fourth shot. 
Well, if I pull off one amazing putt, then I'll be the only one getting the bongo. Killer Miller is hoping to make a birdie. And I do stress, amazing putt. Okay, angle's right, I just need to take a little power off. That's probably too much. Nice contact on that one! I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. Hey, it's damn good to be in the zone. Or so they tell me. El Suave is smacking for a bogey. Country Clam has this putt to shoot for a glorious par. Can you tell I want this hole to end? School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Killer Miller has a big club and is ready to jack it off the tee. Well, so much for being in the zone. That shot left skid marks. Nice. Somebody send over the cocktail waitress. I want to start celebrating immediately. El Suave is ready to spank it. That shot makes me want to become a better person. Second shot. That'll score a 9.6 with the German judge. Second shot. That'll work. Second shot. Okay. Okay, so puff for the eagle. I know one golfer who should stay away from lottery tickets. Here we go. Third shot. Anything is still possible. Good shot. What should I do? Write you a song? Get over it. Third shot. Yeah. Nice. 
Nice! That ball is seeing more green than the inside of P. Diddy's wallet. Or whatever he calls himself. Third shot. <sighs> Nasty break to the left. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! Damn, I bet somebody's itching to hit the reset button for a shot at birdie. Wow, what an inspiring display of utter crappiness. Amazing. To make par and prove once and for all that being average is pretty damn average. Killer Miller is putting up a slight incline to sink a birdie. Forget 12-step groups, you're doing just fine on your own. Suave is attempting to sink a bogey and hopefully move on with life. Country Clam is concentrating to sink a birdie. Blow it. That ball might not have gone in the hole, but I can sure tell you where that putter should go. To make par. For a shot at bogey and the half-hearted applause that comes with it. Okay, you're just mocking me now. For the chance to make double bogey and really impress no one. Such a good idea. Stop being such a yellow belly. It ain't even low. God don't it. I done killed another relative. You know, I've been working out too, killer. Really? Yeah, mostly cardio. Yeah. Senseless. We have a new driving record, folks. Damn it. I wish I woke the kids. Whoop de fucking do.
Nice shot. Nice distance. Nice rack. Sorry, folks. I got distracted. Second shot. <laughs> Time to pat somebody on the back. And while you're at it, I'll take a hot old body rub. Second shot. Concentrate. Second shot. What's not to like about that shot? If only you could take it home and dim the lights, put on some Barry White. Oh yeah. Third shot. Okay, now land dead on the green. Don't you dare bounce off. Third shot. That'll work. Guess that ball must have a better agent than me. Third shot. Let's just see about that third time is the charm crap. I know one golfer who should stay away from lottery tickets. Fourth shot. Now that's pretty darn close to the hole. Story of my life. Ah, close enough. I could use a change of scenery. To sink one for par. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Got the lead, but just barely. Killer Miller is ready to bang the ball. Good 
shot. El Suave is preparing to smack the bejesus out of the ball. That's either a good omen or some really excellent cheating. Make a birdie. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Nice birdie. I reckon that was pretty good. Just once, I want to do the celebratory fart. El Suave has an opportunity for a shot at Birdie and all its glory. Nice cut, and that's all that matters. Killer Miller is eyeing this putt for a birdie. No pressure. Hit it already! Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Big boy, shake it off. We're on the clock here. Okay, I'm still holding the lead. Through this vodka haze, I can tell that was a nice shot. Well done, just the way I like my steaks. <laughs> Second shot. Second shot. Pretty shot. Trust me on this, because I'm an expert on ugly. Second shot. Where'd those other balls go? Oh, they're over there. Is there a doctor 
in the house. Cause that ball's gonna Ow! Medic! Bullshit. If one were to think of the zone as a beautiful girl, then it's time this golfer realized they ain't getting any. Killer Miller is firmly in the sand and proud to be screwed. That was fucking bullshit. You saw for yourselves. It was supposed to be completely clear of those. That ball's a beaut. Third shot. What goes up must come down, and down it comes, perfectly on the green. Fourth shot. Third shot. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that shot. For a birdie, or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Houston, I think we have a golfer. So, absolutely no points for me on this hole. A little song dooby 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 doo. A little dance dooby 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 doo. A little seltzer down your pants. Tss, tss, tss. Ah. Tss, tss, tss. Killer Miller is preparing to shoot for a glorious par. Can you tell I want this hole to end? Nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. Country Clam has this putt for a tasty birdie. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. What's wrong with this picture? Oh yeah, that shot. <laughs> Country Clam is about to launch it off the tee in 10, 9, 8. Attorney. Ha! Tricked you! I whacked my attorney months ago! You cops are so gullible!
What a <laughs> tremendous disappointment. Now you know how my parents feel. Killer Miller is facing a difficult shot from the sand. Shooting, Tex. Bullshit. El Suave is smack dab in the rough. Emphasis on the smack. Nice. That ball just got some prime real estate. Third shot. Okay, perfect aim. Just need to take some power off. Take it easy make a birdie. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? El Suave is lining up for par. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Killer Miller is attempting to hopefully make bogey and bask in the warm glow of mediocrity. Looks like the Flobonator was sent back from Shut the- Shut up. To achieve the indignity, embarrassment, and personal humiliation of a double bogey. I don't get all three points in the next hole. It's all over. Boy, that shot was a lot like marriage. It started off so, so good, and then went so terribly wrong. Did anyone get the license number on the truck that hit that ball? Killer Miller is set to go.
decent shot. Boy, that shot was a lot like marriage. It started off so, so good, and then went so terribly wrong. Killer Miller is going to need a shovel to dig this one out of the sand. That ball is cruising. Did someone order bad karma? Second shot. Gotta like that one. All right, second shot. about a lucky break. That's almost like tongue kissing a frog and getting a hot stripper. Or at least two twins. You know, well, actually, it's nothing like that at all. For a tasty birdie. Nicely done. I am overjoyed. There is nothing greater than scoring a birdie, don't you think? What about scoring an eel? Say, everyone's a critic. Third shot. Better hold off on that Prozac refill. Country Clam is tapping for a shot at birdie. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. I have to get all three points all to myself on the last hole or else I lose. Pretty good, I'd take that. Way to go!
Nice contact on that one. Like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention, talk about an uncomfortable lie. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. If I was going to spend this much time in the sand, I'd rather do it in Tahiti. All right, second shot. What a tremendous disappointment. Now you know how my parents feel. Second shot. I can't say enough about that shot, nor do I want to. Third shot. I know one golfer who should stay away from lottery tickets. El Suave is going to have to spank it out of the sand. Watch your eyes. Nice. Give that ball a gold star. Here we go. Third shot. Anything is still possible. The greatness of that putt is only matched by my inability to hook up. It's all over. Fourth shot. to a new record-setting putt. Don't expect it to respond. It's pretty conceited. El Suave is hoping to make par. Hey, did someone order a gimme? Here you go. At this point, I'm debating whether to even do a take three. My head is clearly not in the game today. Oh well. But if, this, uh, but if the take three still doesn't give me the win, then I'm just skipping. 
Up first and raring to go is Killer Miller. You got to be kidding me. That ball was smoking. Seriously, did anyone see those flames? If you have low self-esteem, this should help. Teeing off second is El Suave. What a rip! Hey, that makes two of us. <laughs> Walking softly, carrying a big club is Country Clan. Man, somebody's been working out. Second shot. Nice contact on that one. I think I'm about to cry. No, it's just gas. <laughs> you were supposed to stop. Like a deacon at a Boy Scout <laughs> convention, talk about an uncomfortable lie. Second shot. Second shot, concentrate. That shot makes me want to become a better person. El Suave is bogged down in the sand. Personally, I'd be upset, but hell, it's not my shot. That'll score a 9.6 with the German judge. Killer Miller is facing a difficult shot from the sand. All three points. Nice! That was good for both of us. To sink a birdie. Nice cut, and that's all that matters. My name is Clem and I shot me a goose, a doo-da, a doo-da. I'll use his feathers to wipe my caboose. Oh, de doo da day. Oh, de doo da day. Oh, who cares? To try for poor, and since I'm a pessimist, head straight for Bogeyland. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. Killer Miller is ready to play a little golf ball knock-knock. Good shot.
Wow, that ball traveled faster than a speeding bullet. And trust me, I get shot at all the time. El Suave is on the tee and anxious to prove that failure is not genetically predetermined. Look at that baby go! Second shot. Okay, got the bingo. That'll be good for your game. Second shot. Way to go! Time to break out the putter. Second shot. Yeah. How lucky can you get? Okay, I got the bango as well. Nasty is one way to describe this break to the right. That's just the kind of putt you want to bring home to mom. Killer Miller is preparing to sink a birdie. Better hold off on that Prozac refill. Shots like that require serious concentration. All that time in solitary is finally paying off. To putt for par. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. Okay, let's keep this trend. Killer Miller is at the tee and getting ready to spank the ball like a naughty little schoolgirl. Damn! That ball was hit so hard it should press assault charges. Boy, that shot was a lot like marriage. It started off so, so good, and then went so terribly wrong. Sweet, maybe good golf isn't so hard after all. Country Clam is about to whack it. Uh -oh. 
Nice. Somebody send over the cocktail waitress. I want to start celebrating immediately. Second shot. No one should complain about that shot. That's my job. Second shot. Second shot. Okay, I could putt for the eagle from there. Oh my! That <laughs> ball should be tried for treason! Take it away! Third shot. <laughs> that ball is safely on the green, and I, for one, will sleep better knowing that. Third shot. You know, the law of averages says this could be a good one. But then again, it could suck. That's the thing with averages. What do I know? What am I, a, a math teacher? Yeah. That ball is sure sitting pretty on the green. What a conceited little bastard. Third shot. Okay, if I sink this putt, I'll be the only one getting the bango and the bongo. Welcome to the zone. Children under six are not admitted. Unless their mom's really hot and I'm drunk. I shot an eagle! That's right! I shot an eagle! Look at me! I shot an eagle! An eagle! An eagle! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Man, that's refreshing. Kinda like a hundred cups of coffee with a riddle and chaser. You follow me or don't you? Country Clam is eyeing this putt for a shot at birdie and all its glory. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. El Suave is concentrating to sink a birdie. Nice putt, and that's all that matters. Okay, I'm five, I'm five points ahead of my closest competition. If I could keep this up, then the game will be over before it even gets to the full nine holes. about it. <laughs> Give that golfer a shiny gold medal for that drive. Nice.
Say goodbye to that ball. Gone, gone, gone. Ball traveled so far, someone's gonna have to FedEx it back to us. Second shot. Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. Second shot. Okay, according to this, I could actually reach the green from here. What the hell, go for it. Hope you enjoyed it, because you just got voted out of the zone. Third shot. Yeah. See, I picked up a lot more in France besides a moped license and a nasty rash. Third shot. That shot was like a train wreck. I can't look away. <laughs> Killer Miller is about to take a crack at it. Okay, I may get the bango. No, I won't. That's a good looking ball. I'm strangely attracted to it. Country Clam is preparing to putt downhill to make par and prove once and for all that being average is pretty damn average. Houston, I think we have a golfer. Killer Miller is smacking to drop this one in for par. Nicely done! Suave has an opportunity to drop this in for a scintillating bogey. Okay, I still got a comfortable lead. Nice shot! 
shot. Okay, I could still putt from there. Country Clam is about to drive it off the tee. I can practically taste the excitement. Or maybe I just need new gum. Second shot. For a tasty birdie. Come on, blow it. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. For a shot at birdie. Oh, come on. Is good for both of us. El Suave has this putt to put it in for par. Consider that gimme a gimme. <laughs> That's clever writing. Killer Miller is smacking to sink one for par. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. No points for me this time. Okay, Clem's catching up. Cause that's an insane shot. Welcome to the zone. I can only guess this must be what it feels like to have sex with a really thin chick. That's what we in the biz call a money shot. Someone tipped the fluffer. Second shot. Second shot. That's gonna leave a mark. That shot will not get it done. Unless the goal was to hit it like crap. 
Okay, second shot. Too early to panic. That'll work. Guess that ball must have a better agent than me. Third shot. Pretty shot. Trust me on this, because I'm an expert on ugly. Third shot. Got the bingo. Third shot. And it looks like I'm gonna get the bongo too. Question is, will I get the bango? That's what we in the biz call a money shot. Someone tipped the fluffer. Fourth shot. That ball is really moving. Is there a urologist in the house? I guess they work with fast moving balls. I don't, who writes this? Okay, I won't get the mango. Fourth shot. Boom! Someone kicked in the nitrous. Man, oh man, that green's breaking heavily to the right. Okay. It... So I said we'll go in more directly. Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? El Suave is eyeing this putt to nail one of the best looking pars I've ever seen. Oh, sorry, I was looking at a different hole. This one's just average. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. all that matters. Okay, widening the gap back up. <laughs> that 
ball was a big time hit. Well, so much for being in the zone. That shot left skid marks. Should be tried for treason. Take it away. Okay, I should get the bingo. Second Come on. shot. It should be my shot next. Nice. Somebody send over the cocktail waitress. I want to start celebrating immediately. For a birdie or execution by firing squad. <laughs> How's that for motivation? Now that's what I call a stroke of genius. <laughs> Get it? Second shot. Why didn't they let me shoot? They're supposed to let me shoot. I'm in the rough. Was that was that a case of the computer blatantly cheating? was hit softly, which would normally set you back about 20 bucks in Manhattan. Give or take, you know, depends on the night. El Suave is hoping to nail this one for par. One word, nice putt. Okay, so I failed math. Let that be a lesson to you kids. Stay in school. Killer Miller is lining up to putt for par. Nicely done. Still in the lead, but just barely. Amazing what a little dumb luck will do for your shot.
That drive has set a record. That's worthy of something. I just don't know what it is. That shot makes me want to become a better person. Second shot. Now, why didn't this... Why didn't this stupido just go through that hole like we did? Players at home store it. El Suave is tapping to make a birdie. Now that's a nice putt, golf fans. This birdie was my gift to you for admiring me. And many thanks to my loyal caddy, El Paco. It's El Ramon. I don't care. Country Clam is preparing for a heart-stopping eagle. Let's check the batteries on the defibrillator. Fantabulous putt. I learned that from one of the Queer Eye guys. Okay, Goober, let's show the nice people your trip. Hope Letterman's watching. Killer Miller is concentrating for an awe-inspiring eagle. I hate the silly dance. No, everyone's a critic. Dip dip doop 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 dip dip flippy lippy dap ba dap ba waggy wiggy wiggy wop. Okay. As long as I get at least one of the points on the last hole, then I'll win. At least one of them. Gotta like that one. Killer Miller is armed and itching to fire one off. was so high it had to go through rehab just to come down nice give that ball a gold star second shot
Like a deacon at a Boy Scout convention, talk about an uncomfortable lie. Well, he's out of it. At least for the last one. Fourth shot. Sweet. Maybe good golf isn't so hard after all. Second shot. Now, follow Suave's example, Clem. Second shot. Uh, no, I'm not chancing it. I know it says I could reach the green from here, but that's a bold-faced lie. Good shot. Third shot. Okay, I got the bingo. I can't lose now. Third shot. Fifth shot. I think it bears repeating. The object of the game is to score a low number. <laughs> Country Clam is putting up hilly terrain to drop this one in for par. School must be in session because that was some textbook putting. Killer Miller has an opportunity to make par. Nice stroke, nice putt, nice job. El Suave is attempting for an exciting double bogey. Hey, I don't get out much. It took three tries, but I finally managed to beat this one. It took three tries to beat tour event number two, too. Let's hope this isn't a continuing pattern. Time to stick a fork in this round, cause it's over. And our exceedingly lucky winner is... Killer Miller! Congratulations! I'm glad you won, cause honestly, you scare me. Time to close the books on this game. Okay, the next event is at Turnpike Valley. 
Oh, and it's also gonna be a time trial. So, if the next event is relatively easy on me, then I might actually be able to get two events knocked out next time. The schedule is looking to be pretty normal through January. The next big diversion won't be until Super Bowl weekend. So thanks for joining me for this exceedingly long and, albeit quite frustrating round. Like what I'm doing, give a like, subscribe if you haven't already. There's my Twitter if you want to send any messages, or you could drop them in the comments below. Next time is the fourth event in Killer Miller's tour, and possibly the fifth if that time trial is done quickly enough. Take care of yourselves, game on.